Hey everyone, welcome to TFT Tarot for Today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon and me, Banshee, and it's me, Banshee, for my Material Matters segment, your weekly tarot keys to success in business, education, and finance. <laughs> welcome to the show, welcome to the show. So, as we usually start off every show, we'll be starting with a card for the collective. And today, I'm using the Whispers of Lord Ganesha Oracle. Let's see what Lord Ganesha has for us today. Hopefully something good. Pretty sure these are all read upright. Oh, it's interesting. Even though this is our material reading, we're getting a call for spiritual practice. 19. 19, my birthday <laughs> number. All right. A spiritual practice will help ground your day. It may trigger observations that lead to life-changing breakthroughs and ideas. There are many ways to maintain a spiritual connection through a committed practice. Ganesha is asking you to reflect on the benefits that may be gained by following a specific daily routine for your spirituality. This might include prayer, meditation, or an exercise schedule that connects the body, mind, and spirit, such as yoga or tai chi. Additionally, consider burning incense, which is often used to accompany prayers, invocations, and spells in many cultures. As the incense smoke rises up to the heavens, it is said to represent the requests reaching their destination and meeting with approval from the divine. Incense is also believed to have properties that dispel negative energy. Use incense or burn sage to create a special haven for yourself or to clear a sacred space in preparation for a special occasion or ceremony. The smell of incense can also bring about heightened spiritual awareness and realization for the user. There are many tools and techniques that you can use throughout your day to preserve or regain tranquility. Even simply taking a deep breath can restore a spiritual connection. Find way what works for you and dedicate some time to your practice each day. And you know what's really funny about this? I know, you know, there's lots of... Um, admonitions, restrictions against having too much religious stuff present in a lot of workplaces. I had that in one of my previous jobs. But you know, there's always ways to incorporate stuff in, depending on your beliefs. You can find simple ways to do that. For example, um, I found a goofy little mini Zen sand garden that I kept on my desk, you know, that would give me some tranquility and thoughts about, you know, mindfulness and living in the moment. Uh, there, there are other things that you can just, just think about the little things that you can add and embellish. Throw a stone or two on your desk, you know, for decoration. Wink, wink. <laughs> so the thing is, there's lots you can do and maybe do the things that you know could encourage growth or opportunity in the financial realms. So I like that card for today from Lord Ganesha. It's very, very true. We need to bring that into our lives. All right. Into our material realm, I should say. Okay, everybody. So now 
give a little astrological outlook for the week ahead. And I'm just going to say it's a very quiet week astrologically. I didn't see a lot happening. I know the real astrologers out there will find things, but I'll just give you the overview. November 7th through 13th is the week this reading is good for. Daylight savings time is ending Sunday, this day. So I hope you made it to my show, number one. <laughs> you didn't arrive too early since we're getting an extra hour of sleep today. And I hope you, into, or last night, I hope you enjoyed that. So the moon is moving from Sagittarius Capricorn on November 7th. It's moving into Capricorn on the 7th. And uh, we'll be traveling through the signs to Pisces on November 13th. Veterans Day uh, and Remembrance Day Canada. So I'm not sure if that's like their Veterans Day is on November 11th. Uh, and November 11th, Veterans Day, um, is the day before an important veteran in my life, my departed father. Uh, his birthday is on November 12th, so I'll be celebrating his memory. Happy uh, birthday in advance, Daddy. I'll call him Daddy because he died when I was 10 years old, and that's what I called him. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. We move on to the air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this reading is for you. Let's whip up some cash with those airy winds of yours. What do you say? I see I have my card up there still. <laughs> I will move that in a moment. I'll cut the cards first, I think. There we go. Okay. Okay, my friends, the air signs. Let's see what the cards have in store for you this week. Your focus for the week ahead is the Empress. Wow, what a nice start. Very, very nice. You know, it's always good for a focus, for your focus to be <laughs> ideas, creativity, breakthroughs. You know, it's as if uh, finally the mental state is turning in the more creative side. And, you know, things are just popping in your head. Creative problems to solutions, um, out-of-the-box thinking, new ideas to spur business growth, uh, students having ideas for those last projects, you know, everything is going to be coming due soon, I'm sure. You know, this is uh, November. My goodness, a lot of you are heading for finals. So, uh, this is a real positive sign. Let's see how we can prepare for that focus. Okay. Okay, you know what they say, at least that's what I've heard, especially where this card, the Ten of Wands, is concerned, that work tends to get heavier when a breakthrough is about to occur, when you're finally going to reach a conclusion. When you're nearing the end of something successful, it you know, a lot of effort has to be put in. So let's look at this in context with the Empress here, Air Signs, and just say to you that, you know, you're going to have to back up these great ideas with a little bit of elbow grease, got to put some work into it, and, you know, try not to make it burdensome. You know, hopefully you can make it enjoyable and maybe get some people to help you out. If you need help, if these ideas need more than one person to carry them through, then make sure you seek volunteers to help you. And will there be help this week from others? Cooperation or conflict? Well, look at that. I think others are kind of uh, seeking you know, the gold with you. I mean, they're looking at some of these great ideas that you have. I'm going to look at the wands as being these ideas that have been birthed and have been worked on. And they're ready to bring those ships in. They're ready to bring the results, you know. They're here to help. So I think there's lots of support from you, whether it's from advisors, mentors, uh, your bosses, your coworkers. But here's the problem. Will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all for you air signs this week? 
Psi, we've got the tower. The tower is reversed at the end here. So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not sure the, if this fails, if, if plans fail for you this week and you suffer a loss, it may be because you're repeating some patterns of behavior that you've done in the past that have led to failure. So you haven't learned and absorbed some lessons in the fact on what you need to carry you forward towards a successful conclusion to this project. So let's see what we've got here. Um, great ideas, great creativity, great time for productivity as well. And that goes hand in hand with the Ten of Wands here. You know, it shows that you're going to be putting a lot of effort into some new ideas, some fresh ideas this week. And people around you are absolutely on board. They want to help you in the worst way possible. Uh, however, make sure, I think this might be, that final card, that tower, might be here because you're maybe running through the ideas very, very quickly, getting people on board to move it forward without thinking about what the best way to do it is. And so maybe you're relying on some methods you've used in the past that have not been very successful for you. For example, students, um, are, you know, have you been used to just cramming your projects at the last minute? Maybe that won't work for you this time, and especially if that hasn't worked for you before. Things that have, you know, failed you before, don't fall back on now and think they're going to carry you forward. The Empress here is calling on for you to be creative about this in all ways. Not just those ideas, but how to implement them. That's what I have for you air signs for the week ahead. Hey, good luck with that. Woohoo! Fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What's cooking for us in this week ahead? Got a turkey in the oven? I hear turkeys are really expensive this year, actually. So I don't know. I think if anything, we may just get a little turkey breast or something. In this household, it's really all we need. Although I think Mr. O is a leg man. Cringe. <laughs> He's cringing. Bad joke. Sorry, Mr. O. All right. Your focus, fire signs, my fellow fire signs for the week ahead. Look at this. I mean, the air signs had work with that ten of wands, almost getting to the point of being burdensome. And you, you're just hard at work. You know, here you are. You're sewing away there. Look at that picture. Um, basically, and people are acknowledging that. You may notice this week that people are acknowledging your efforts. You might get, uh, you know, some praise. Also, this might be a time, too, where you're doing something new or different. And so you might be getting some training. You might be feeling a little bit, you know, that this is sort of uh, different for you and that you need to sharpen some skills a bit. Maybe you're looking at some webinars or some books, manuals to figure out how to do some new computer processes or something like that. But you are definitely starting the week off uh, hard at work. How best can you prepare for that focus? Well, there you go. There's the moon, you know. Use a little bit of insight. Use a little bit of intuition. Use a little bit of your gut reaction. And also recognize the fact here that, like I said, if you're working on something new or maybe some of you guys who are starting new jobs, you know, this is something you're going to want to, you may not have all the information you need. So, you know, pay attention as people are going through the ropes with you, telling you how things are done there. Uh, take notes. You know, by all means, just recognize the fact that you may not have all the information. And it's okay. You can rely on your gut. You can trust your gut and your instincts on some of this, but also really pay attention to the details. What about people this week? Will there be cooperation or conflict, uh, constructive uh, dialogues? Well, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Hmm. 
I don't think people are going to help you make money this week. You know, if it's about money, yeah, it's the Ten of Pentacles reversed. That's right. Um, I don't know if it, if it's about making money this week. They're not going to be that helpful to you. Uh, you you know, so I think in dealings with your financials, advisors, and stuff, things might be slow, or there may be disagreements. There may be disagreements on what you want to do with your money. So I don't know how you want to handle that, you know, either take their advice, get a second opinion, perhaps. Uh, but it does seem as though there's trouble in dealing with others in relation to uh, your, your acquiring money or your present financial affairs. We'll go over that again as we look at this. So ultimately, will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all? Well, we've got the emperor reversed here. You know, whatever happens here with your dealings with people there, try to maintain control. Right here, it's showing that by week's end, things seem to, you feel like things are out of control. You don't have a handle on stuff like you normally do, fire signs, you know. And remember, the emperor here oftentimes is associated with a fire sign, Aries, Um and so I feel that maybe this is magnified for us this week. Let's take a look and go over this in more detail. Well, you start off on a really good footing here with the Eight of Pentacles. It shows you hard at work. It shows you showing some discipline. It also shows you willing to uh, acquire knowledge or skills that you need to perform your jobs adequately. So people who are starting out on new jobs, that's really a good start for you. That sounds really good. And it's backed up by the moon, which is a twofold message here, I feel, that really you maybe don't have all the facts or necessary knowledge for what you are doing presently. So it behooves you to do some of that research and digging to figure it out. And recognize the fact that too, trust your gut on this a little bit. Also, you may have some of the answers. You may know some of this deep down and you might be able to rely on that internal knowledge to pull you through. Because others... They're just not with it this week. They're not giving you the financial advice or encouragement that you need to move your plans forward. Particularly, I feel like this is really relevant in the realm of managing your money and resources. So, you know, if you're trying to get loans, if you're trying to uh, reinvest your money, looking for good investments, or maybe even... I like this, dealing with real estate. I think all of those areas in particular might have a harder time dealing with others this week to, to, to make a profit, to move forward. And ultimately, maybe by week's end, this makes you feel like things are a little bit out of control. Perhaps you worry, you know, if, for those of you who are starting out fresh on something, just where... You know, where you're going, if you really have started off on the right track, you still feel like you don't have a handle on everything. And really, give yourself a break. If you're just starting a new job, it takes time. It takes time to acclimate to the culture, to the workflow, to working with others in a new environment. Cut yourself some slack. But do try to find, you know, to try to find that way to regain control of your affairs. I have for you fire signs. Good luck with that. Oh, I have no water today. Whatever will I do? It's time for the water signs. But I have coffee. <laughs> coffee will do. <laughs> I'm wide awake. <laughs> Let the rain fall. All right. So, 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 so. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This reading is for you for the week ahead. One more shuffle for good measure here. Oops, I guess it wanted to fall that way. Let's see what that brings. All right. Well, okay, water signs. Well, your focus for the week ahead. 
Isn't it time to like make peace with people <laughs> on the workplace, the work front? I don't know. I look at this card in a lot of different ways. Um, sometimes it's walking away from something that just has been too overwhelming, too emotional. Maybe, maybe people just getting too bent out of shape with trying to push their own agendas and ideas and opinions. Uh, I feel here you're starting off the week feeling like you just you just don't want to fight about it anymore, you know? You want to kind of let it go. You want to kind of let it go. Uh, maybe you're just going to get along to get along, whatever the case may be. You just want conflict at the workplace or in your material matters to conclude. Oopsie. How best can you prepare for that focus? <laughs> wow, it's the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is reversed as well. So how best you can prepare for that focus is to just, you know what, is to just not feel so, not let yourself be trapped by this, you know, release yourself from this bondage of constantly feeling like you either have to stand your ground, you know, disagree with people, uh, you know, it's time to just decide to move forward. Just move out of this conflict that may be enveloping you. I don't know why this just popped into my head right away that this might be what's going on for you this week. You know, May not happen at school so much, obviously, but in the workplace, uh, there's lots of competition and there's lots of struggling and lots of conflict in office politics. And I don't know why, but I'm getting that sense of that here right now. Whoa, and I wonder why, because will people be cooperative or not in the week ahead? So three of pentacles reversed. I get the feeling that you or others feel that you are not getting your fair share of recognition, you know, that things have just not been, you know, all your hard work, all your efforts are not being recognized enough, whether it's your salary, pay, or hey, just that occasional pat on the back, you know, even that's nice from time to time. So I feel like there's a lot of disgruntlement in the people around you. Uh, and if you are the boss that is not you know, that is not doing that, you ought to consider it because look at all this conflict and difference and problems in the workplace around you. It's time to be a peacemaker and it's time to also recognize the people who have been, you know, bringing in the business for you. Oh my. So will there be forward or backward movement or... Stabs in the back this week for you water signs. There's that ton of swords. My goodness, I can't even remember the last time I've gotten this as the final card in a reading. Ton of swords. So it may be hard for you to release yourself from this conflict. You know, you feel betrayed by week's end. If, if, and I'm going to go over this again so you get it, but you feel betrayed by week's end. And this despite the fact that you were trying to be magnanimous and move away and get yourself out of this conflict. Oh, wow. So let's take a look at this, guys, uh, water signs. The five of wands is reversed here, and I just had this feeling right from the get-go when I saw it. You want to leave some conflict or some competition behind. You're tired of the battle, you know, and so you want to let it go. You either want to throw up the white flag and say, I surrender and we'll go your way, uh, or, you know, you just want to move yourself away from it. And look at that eight of swords there. That eight of swords is reversed, and it's also saying that, yeah, it's time to be free from all of this. Move away. Step outside of it. Don't let it constrain you and what you do and what, what you want to accomplish. However, <laughs> people around you really feel, you know, feel like they're not being, they're not being recognized. Maybe they feel like nobody is listening to them. That's part of it too, maybe. But also this fact of they're not getting recognition for what they're trying to do. And maybe on one level, they may be feeling that you are just agreeing with them to shut them up, but that your spirit and heart is really not behind them on this. And so it is affecting, you know, employee unity. Think about this. And ultimately, by week's end, 
sabotage, you know? There's some sabotage here. There's some anger and animosity that, you know, but I will say this, that once this is done, once this little blow up occurs, uh, there is the dawn starting to break here, water sign. So I feel like the worst of it will be over after week's end. But I feel like people are just not going to be happy with you saying, okay, I'm done with this. Let's just do it your way and shut up. They're going to have some resentments and it will affect matters in this week ahead in some way. So you're definitely not going to be gaining this week. I hate to say it. And I hope you don't lose anything through some kind of manipulation, sabotage, work slowdown, you know, something like that. So eyes wide open water signs. Good luck with your week ahead. Woo. Hey, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, my friends, the earth signs. Let's hope the dust settles for you this week. It's not going to be a water sign week. Oh, my. Seems like it's a rather challenging week for everybody this week to some extent. So let's see if the uh, the earth signs have a little better go of it here. All right. Oh my goodness, so your focus for the week ahead is the Three of Swords, upright. So you're dealing with some sorrow or sadness in the business world. Perhaps you're recouping from some losses last week, uh, some disappointments in um, you know, returns on investment, maybe some business slowdown when you were expecting it to pick up a little bit, uh, maybe some, some disappointing grades for our students out there. So this is something you're just going to have to work through. And you're, you're starting off the week on kind of a somber note, almost like, oh my, what, what, what could go wrong next? And how best can you prepare for that focus? My goodness. So we have the six of wands reversed. So I think what you have, the best way to prepare for this focus is to Stop dwelling on the past losses. It's you have to move past this now. This is this is uh this is empty victories, this is losses. I feel that you just should try to adopt a more positive mindset. It's almost as if these two things together, you know, that packs quite a punch on your psyche. And so, you know, you attract more of the same if you're just going to keep dwelling on loss. The time is now to recognize that, you know, even in failure, even in loss, there is something to be gained because number one, you tried. You tried your best and it failed. And so you've learned from that experience, hopefully, and you'll be able to move in a more positive direction. And what about people this week? You know, I think people, I, I know that justice is reversed here. You may feel that people may be treating you unfairly this week. That's a possibility. But another possibility when I see this card coming up with everything I see here, for some reason, I'm picking up just this feeling that the people around you might just feel that whatever happened here was very unfair. You know, it was very unfair towards you. And actually, I feel they may support you in this week. You might find some shoulders to cry on or maybe get some good advice on how to move yourself out of this, you know, this cycle of loss. I, I, I know that justice is reversed here, but I really feel it. I feel like they uh, want to redress this. I'm going a little bit on a limb on that one. Ultimately, will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all? 
Well, the good news is that I feel by week's end, uh, you're going to be rebounding emotionally. You just got to get through it this week. You got to change that attitude. The Page of Cups is here upright. Nope. Oh, the, the Page Sorry, of Cups guys. is here, and the Page of Cups is all about, you know, having those emotional emotions intact. I feel that also the Page of Cups indicates this, um, maybe by week's end, you know, you are becoming a little bit more sensitive and intuitive, and some ideas are going to come come to you that may help you move forward in a more positive direction. So I'm going to go over this again just to see how it's going. Some people don't learn. The cat is coming back. <laughs> so going over this again, we have the Three of Swords. We start rather badly this week, uh, Earth Signs. We start rather badly this week, Earth sign. Sunny is just out of control today, just to let you know. We have uh, some sorrow, some sadness. Maybe you've suffered some recent financial losses or downturns in the business. And so, you know, you're kind of trying to recover, but you're not going to recover if you dwell, if you just dwell on loss. Why don't you dwell instead on the knowledge you've gained from that experience so that you can move forward more constructively? So the thing is, don't don't just dwell on the losses. What's done is done. And it's time to say, let's turn that loss into a bigger gain. People around you, I feel with Justice Reverse, see the injustice of the situation. They feel something unfair happened or you really didn't deserve it whatever this is that happened to you and so they want to help you write it i think you're going to find people in your court trying to work to your advantage and ultimately from that will spring great ideas inspiration you will feel a little bit more secure emotionally you'll start to feel like you know more enthusiastic like things are starting to look up again so good luck with that in the week ahead, Earth Signs. That's what I have for you. There. And if Sunny wants to come on the table now, that's fine with me. <laughs> so that's what I have for everybody for this week. And this is a time in the show that I usually discuss our other shows. We're kind of back to our normal schedule again. But I do want to say that our happy hour next week will be changing times. It's usually on at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but it will be on at 3, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time next Saturday. So there's a little change in the schedule for next week. Hopefully that won't happen too often, but that may happen from time to time. Uh, also, don't forget, every Wednesday is Mr. O's Goth Tarot. Very good program that gets, gets you involved in the shadow side of your life. 8 a.m. every Wednesday. And finally, his emotional exchanges, which is now a card per each zodiac sign. And it's for the emotional side of your life. And that is at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I think that's it other than our twice weekly live streams, which hopefully you already know well. And if you don't, Come visit us on Sundays and Thursdays, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Sundays, and 7 to 9 p.m. on Thursdays. I hope everybody makes it through this week unscathed, but if not, remember, it's only a week. We'll make it, and maybe next week will be better. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.